The surface back roll is where you carve your board around a full 360 degree course. This is an interesting challenge and will help people prepare for the foil 360. Let's take an overview of the trick and its kite control. Using the backhand, steer the kite up enough that it should cross 12 o'clock. As the kite climbs, push the bar away and leave the kite to drift. This will make line tension drop dramatically, which is what allows you to turn fully upwind and around. As you turn around, the kite should have drifted over 12 and be waiting for you on the new side. You can now dive the kite down to ride in this direction. As soon as possible, start turning downwind. Once you're moving downwind, a kite loop will have less kick. Steer as hard as possible for a compact kite loop. Keep steering until the leading edge is aiming upwards. This will make sure the kite avoids the high power zone. While you feel the pull from the loop, keep riding downwind. As the pull dissipates, edge back towards your original course and gently steer the kite back to its original position. Let's look at that riding the other way. Let's look a little closer at the technique. You're going to lose speed during this trick, so you need to carry a decent pace into it. Steer the kite back enough to reach 12 and then get the bar out as early as you can to help line tension drop. Once line tension drops, a strong hillside lean can turn you fully upwind. You can also twist your front arm and upper body into the rotation. As you face the new direction, dive the kite down firmly to ride that way. Keep carving around and try to get moving downwind. Once you're moving downwind, you can loop the kite with less kick. Steer as hard as possible for a compact kite loop. Keep steering until the leading edge is aiming upwards. Ride downwind to soften the kite loop's pull. Once the pull dissipates, edge back towards your original course. Let's review that riding the other way. Medium high speed. Lean slightly hillside to ride upwind. Steer the kite back. Bar out to depower. Once line tension is negligible, carve fully upwind. Throw your front arm and shoulders into the turn if needed. As you face the new direction, dive the kite to ride that way. Get moving downwind and steer fully for a tight loop. Ride downwind until the loop's power dissipates then return to your original course. It might seem impossible to turn fully upwind and around like this. Any line tension from the kite will pull downwind and restrict your movement. Having the bar in at this stage will maintain line tension and prevent you from turning fully upwind. But if you send the kite on its journey across 12, 
and get the bar out early, you will lose line tension. The longer the bar is out, the more line tension drops. Once line tension is negligible, as long as you still have some speed, then you will be able to carve fully upwind on the surface. Thanks for watching and good luck learning to ride a 360 course with your twin tip.